subscriber, you know I already love you. Today, I guess this week really, we are going on a little road trip. We are getting out of Los Angeles. As many of you know, Los Angeles has been incredibly closed down. Let's note none of us here are sick. We are all good. Right now we are headed to Joshua Tree. That's our first stop. And then we're gonna go over to Arizona. We're gonna do a little Scottsdale moment. We're gonna have a little time in Sedona. And then we're gonna come all the way back. So for the next five days, we are gonna be all together in this car. <laughs> <laughs> I am with Claudia back here Hello. and with Josie. You guys have seen them both before. We were lucky enough to partner with Lexus on this little road trip. So we are in the Lexus GX and it's this very spacious SUV and we have so much stuff. Luckily the car is big enough to match our materialism. Okay, so first stop, Joshua Tree. It's about a, how long of a drive? Two hour drive from LA? Yeah. We're in good spirits, guys. Morale is high. Morale is high. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like we probably need so much. All right, we're going through In N Out right now. I have just found out that Josie has never been to Sonic, and there's a Sonic. With an eye And we're gonna us. fucking fix that. So shit. we are fixing that. We're gonna get our food here in and out, and we are gonna go to Sonic for a drink because this is America and that's what we do here. <laughs> Alright, guys, we've got the burger and grilled cheese lineup here mm -hmm. with the french fries. We're living large. It really hits the spot. <gasps> a strawberry lemonade. Alright, so I have two strawberry limeades. And a medium strawberry lemonade. Yes. The deed has girl. been done. I've tried it. <laughs> She's tried it. She is <laughs> She's crossed it off her list. Both, um, quote, underwhelmed and overwhelmed yeah. at the same time. All right, guys, look at those Texas plates. We love to see it. She's a little Texas girl. Y'all, the car is completely packed. We are loaded up. We've got so much stuff. Okay, we have made it to the Airbnb. She's looking retro. All right, so we just walked into the Joshua Tree House. Here's the dining area. The art is so fun, very Joshua Tree-esque. We've got a backyard here. Nice little mountain view and a fire pit and the hot tub. Oh my god, I love this room. This is a maze. This room is my fave. Look at this living room. This is so fun. The art is great. I love this whole section, wow. There's another room over here. So it's three bedrooms. This bathroom is also very nice. This is the cutest kitchen. Wow. Aw, look at that. Bonds, we're gonna be in you. Bonds, <laughs> I don't know where to find <laughs> We have found the pasta. So should we do fusilli? Seely. We got home and the back door was open that we think <laughs> Claudia and Josie are now walking into every closet with this knife. <laughs> <laughs> you both have knives. Yes. Oh my god. I feel safe now. Are you, it's sad that this is our security. I know, y'all cleared the house. We should shut this off. Okay, we found the coldest Airbnb in Joshua Tree, apparently. <laughs> it is freezing in here. Claudia is... Look away <laughs> from the cold. Come here. Really what's cold for me is my toes. Give me those things. And so far we haven't found any place to change the temperature, so here we are. You know what will make us warm? Drinking some alcohol. <laughs> I think it might. All right guys, it's time to make the TikTok pasta. Josie's our road trip guide and she's also our pasta guide. I'm probably gonna make drinks. 
Okay, so we got our veggies here. We've got some olive oil, the pasta. We've got feta and borsum cheese, garlic, olives, and a bunch of seasonings. And this will yield us a gorgeous pasta. So we're starting on the sauce over here. So we've got the tomatoes, feta, basil, oregano, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, also we added way more garlic, all the garlic cloves, and then red pepper chili flakes. Just going in the oven, ladies and gents. On 400, for how many minutes? 15. 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, Claudia's on the zucchinis. Josie's over there on the pasta, and I am filming them. And also, I made a drink. <laughs> We're gonna add the pasta now. Okay. Bring in the pasta! Okay, I'm just gonna it for a while. Okay. All right. Woo! <laughs> went rogue, went rogue. Wow. Um, the tomatoes yeah. could've used a little longer. I know, they need to be squished more. Yeah. All right, we'll be back whenever we finish stirring. Awesome. All right, Gilles. We've got our cute little Pasta bowls. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. bitches. Cheers. Cheers. Clock. Oh my god. Why was it that that bad? <laughs> no, it's because I put the point in. Oh, I was like, why is it bubbling? Yeah, it's like a shooter. Yeah. <laughs> Josie, that shot poison. That was all tequila. Hi guys, it is day two. This morning we woke up and went and got our coffee. We went to the Joshua Tree Coffee Co. It's super cute, it's super close to this place. We also saw a place called Crossroads Kitchen which someone recommended to us and we're not gonna go eat there today but if you're coming here, Crossroads Kitchen is good and also there's something called like Natural Sisters and it's really close too. They're all kind of next to each other. You might notice that I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday and that is because I'm about to do a haul of all the clothes I got from Frankie's Bikinis for this trip and there's swimsuits, there's loungewear, there's like cute like kind of like sexy clothes, and then there's like a cute daytime clothes. You, you know, you get my point. So I'm gonna do a little haul. Everything I'm wearing in this haul, besides two things, are a medium, by the way. So I just wanna note that in the beginning, and I'll let you know which things are small. So without further ado, let's get into this haul because I have a lot to show you. Okay, so first, I am wearing the Messman tank and the Frank sweatpants. So one thing I really like about these sweatpants is they have this little embossing kind of right here that says Frankie's Bikinis. So the logo's on it, the branding's on it, but it's like kind of more subtle. So the whole like monochrome look looks more fluid. Does that make sense? It's also very comfortable. They're high-waisted, so they're very flattering. There's a little pocket in the back, which I love. And then this top is so cute as well. I just, again, love the monochrome look. It's definitely my favorite right now. And this was very comfortable and cute for yesterday, especially in the car. Um, it's just a nice, like, kind of chic, upgraded sweatpant look, you know what I mean? Okay, next I have the Tia set. Obviously, this is a bikini. I love the way Frankie's bikinis fit. I feel like they're just like super flattering. So this is like a standard like triangle bikini, but for some reason it fits better than like literally any other triangle bikini that I've ever had. I love bottoms that bunch like this. Like I just think they're so cute and I pull it up kind of to my hips to make me look like I have more of a shape. I love the little cherries on this. I think that's so cute. And also I'm having a major pink moment right now. Okay, so this is the Ariel silk dress, and I think I'm actually going to end up wearing this today. One, it's silk, like I said. So it's so soft, and it just fits so well. This is one of the items that I got a small in, because this just like ended up fitting me a little bit better. Um, I'm probably, like I said, going to wear it today. I'll probably wear it with sneakers. I love a little slip dress with sneaker moment. And here are the boobs. They're secure in there. I have a sticky bra on under this. Um, and I just like, I love the way this like kind of gives you a frame too. Love. I also got the Heidi headscarf. So it has the same print going on as this dress. I just love this little dainty blue print. I think it's so fun and cute. There's a million ways I could like style this on my head. I really like using them as like kind of a ponytail holder. OK, 
Okay, so next I have the Tavi set. I think it's Tavi also. It could be Tavi, I'm not really sure. But it's spelled T-A-V-I. This print is the same as the dress and the headscarf that I just wore. So we love like a matching coordinating moment. I also love, I hope you can see this, but I love that there's more pastel colors in this. So it's like a overall blue color, but also has like the pinks and a light green. Um, I'm having, like I said, a pink moment, but also just like a general pastel moment. Very comfortable, like a very soft material as far as bikinis go and fits very well. We love her. This would also be really cute style with that headscarf, like kind of worn in like a cool boho way, you know? Okay, so this is the Claire Triangle top and the Nick Terry Cheeky Bottoms. So they're this really cool fabric. It's kind of like, I guess Terry is what you would call that, but it's sparkly too, so I love that. It's nice because it looks automatically styled. Like you could wear it with basically no styling and you look still like really stylish, you yeah. know? But wait, it gets better, hold on. Okay, so over at top of this bikini, I put on the Josephine Cardi crop top. This also looks really cute, like buttoned. And then these are the Johnson sweatpants. These are the fanciest sweatpants I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so here we are. She's chic, she's sassy, she's extra, and we love to see it, honestly, we really do. This is a statement. Okay. Obviously you can wear each piece alone or you can wear it together as a set. I like it together as a set. You can also just like do no crop top and the pants, like whatever it is that you want, you know? Okay, so I love this. I feel like this is a sexier option. I love the black, obviously. I thought this bottom was so nice. This is the Bash High Waist Bikini Bottom. I just, I love the way this fits. I love like the cutout effect that's going on right here. I just think it's kind of unique and just feels kind of elevated. Um, and obviously I absolutely love this top. This top does things for the boobs. Uh, I really feel this top. I also would probably wear this like with actual clothes to go out. I feel like this would be so cute with kind of like a leather jacket look over it and some black pants. Also, I've seen where you can take this style of top and like wrap it around and do all these kind of crazy things. There are plenty of videos about that on YouTube of how to like tie this kind of top and also the scarf. So you could definitely tie this in a number of ways, but I really like it like this again because I feel like it makes the boobs look good. And again, just a very like kind of unique swimsuit. So I love her. And also we love a cheeky bottom. You know how it goes. Okay, so lastly, I have the Matilda silk top and the Jasper silk skirt. I think this is the cutest little fit for going out. Like, I like the idea of it with a leather jacket over it. And I actually have a leather jacket, so I'll show you all in a second. But also by itself, like, imagine me on vacation in Mexico. You know, I'm just prepping for future vacations and just kind of, I need that mental image of myself just so I can, you know, get through this time. <laughs> Again, I love both of these by themselves. I like wearing silk skirts like this with like kind of graphic tee vibes, you know? I love wearing this style of top with the straight jeans. This is also a very versatile top. I'm sure you could tie it a number of ways. And the silk is so soft and nice. It feels so luxe. Okay, so here it is with the kind of like oversized leather jacket. I just love this look for like going out or something, going to a nice dinner or whatever it is. Like it's kind of sexy, but it's kind of like rock and roll too. And we love that. And that is it for my Frankie's Bikinis haul. You guys will see these clothes throughout the video, but I wanted to take a moment to show you everything and just kind of give you a little bit of an explanation. And everything will be linked below along with my sizes. I will make sure to note that in the description so you don't have to like keep going back to the video to find my size. I absolutely love this stuff. I feel like it's very luxe, very comfortable, and also like obviously always on trend. Now we're packing up and we are going to head to Scottsdale for this night. Let's get a moment because we're about to get kicked out of our Airbnb. <laughs> it is like five minutes to check out. So let's go.
Okay guys, so we've stopped in Palm Springs to grab a sandwich with us. We are all so freaking hungry. <laughs> and we're on the way to Scottsdale, but anyways, we're gonna stop at this sandwich shop because it was highly rated on Yelp and we are so hungry and I just like feel like a sandwich is the perfect thing we need right now. We have arrived to the Andas and we're checking in. We're on a little bit of a tight timeline here. So we're just waiting for the luggage cart to come around so we can go get ready for dinner. Okay, so we checked into the hotel and we had our little welcome drinks. They're so cute. They have like little vodka lemonades. They're actually so good. We're on our way to Nobu, basically like literally supposed to be getting an Uber 10 minutes ago. Um, and I'm just going to bring my phone to record tonight because I don't want to bring my camera in my purse. We're gonna have some sushi with our friend Brie. I'm wearing this Frankie's top that y'all saw earlier with some jeans and boots. I'm gonna throw a leather jacket on over this. I've got my Ana Luisa uh, hoops on as per usual and then my vibe season necklaces. And now I'm gonna chug the rest of my drink and we're gonna get a move on because we just literally turned this out in like 15 minutes. We came in here, took our makeup off, put it back on, fixed ourselves and now we're going. Chicken, really dance. Dance, 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 we are so dumb. It's Tuesday today. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little hotel room tour whenever it gets clean today because we just like got here so late last night and we were in a hurry to get to dinner. And this is the view from our window. Look how nice. I think it's gonna be 75 degrees and sunny all day. So perfect. Okay, so now we are going to just sit around and work today, and then later we'll get ready and go do things, but it is a work day right now. Okay, so I have my face mask on. It is 3.30 p.m. <laughs> we are getting ready now kind of. I put this face mask on and I took a shower. I'm listening to a podcast about the whole Army Hammer debacle because I didn't really know what was going on there. So I'm now very interested and they need to know. So I'm listening to the So Bad It's Good podcast on Spotify.
So we have gotten ready today very slowly, mm -hmm. uh, but we are about to do a Galentine's dinner and Andaz has been nice enough to set us up a cute little Galentine's dinner out on our porch. So I will show you guys the setup in a moment. So first up is our ahi tuna croquettes. So it's potato and ahi tuna uh, with a saffron aioli, preserved lemon, and then mint from our herb garden. And over here is char grilled octopus on top of um, olive oil poached tomatoes, olives, roasted garlic, and then a roasted pepper aioli, and then goat cheese stuffed dates with pistachio. Oh my gosh, yum, thank you so Enjoy. much. Yeah, we are, Thoroughly enjoying this dinner. We have a special guest. Bria's here. <laughs> we all survived it last night. Fairly Surprisingly. Fairly. Look at the sunset. It's gotten progressively prettier. The camera doesn't really do it justice, honestly. With the candles, too. Wow, well, they really thought of everything. All right, we're back in the room and it is time to go to sleep. Whenever I get on a roll with the margaritas, I just literally am like, why not another one? Why not another one? But I'm gonna do a little skincare vibe, y'all, real quick. So, <clears throat> this is the first week I've tried this, so I cannot tell you if it's really good or not, but I'm using the Burst Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. So I take my makeup off with this cleansing balm massage for an eternity. I'm using the Revive, Revive, I don't know, that Gentle Purifying Wash. This is the best cleanser I've ever owned in my entire life. This makes my skin cleaner than anything else. I always use it at night. I do use a more gentle uh, cleanser by La Roche-Posay in the morning. This has changed my skin, 100%. Next, I need some color for sure. I'm just really right now pale and red, and we wanna fix that. So this is not my normal nighttime routine. Uh, this is just when I like need to look alive a little bit. So I'm using the Saint Tropez Purity Vitamin Self Tan. It's like a vitamin C and D serum, but it also has like a tanning complex in it. So I'm trying to do that super evenly on all of my face and neck and ears and everything. Okay, so I've let that soak in. Things are happening, hopefully it'll be 10 in the morning. But now I'm going to moisturize. I'm using the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. And I actually add a little bit of the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid B5 as well. My skin's still a little bit damp, but I'll take this, a small amount. And then I take the Ordinary Hyaluronic and I put a couple of droplets into my hand together and then I just kind of apply that. Magic feels so good and just like velvety. You attach it and it like steams your face. Uh-huh. I'm excited about it. I'm working on this side. It's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. Kind of like this. Or what if it just it attracts kind of it to it? It kind of sprays it. Like, oh. Yeah. And then you have your little thing like, water. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like, or what about something that attracts the makeup to it? So what that means is we have an idea and money and we don't have either of those things. Okay, well, we have, we've almost had an idea. We just don't have money or science to back it up. Okay, we'll find some investors. Yeah, we'll find investors. <laughs> So it's time to get to sleep, guys. I freaking look so tired. So good night. I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, guys. Today's the day. Today's the day we head to Sedona. So we got some coffee delivered to this room. Vanilla almond latte. Almond latte. Yum. So right now we're just gonna hang out and getting ready. We're probably gonna take a few photos here at the hotel. We haven't really had a chance to take some pics around the property and it's gorgeous. I'm back. I have my makeup on. I'm standing in good light. This is what I'm looking at right now. How pretty do you see? I love when I can see the palms and 
the mountains at the same time. I just freaking love that. We have had the best time at the Andaz here. So I've stayed in a couple different places here in Scottsdale before. My family used to come here a lot and stay in like a VRBO or an Airbnb. And I've also stayed in a couple different hotels. And so far this stay with the Andaz has been the most enjoyable experience in terms of stay. It's gorgeous, it's quiet, it's very peaceful over here and everything is so aesthetic. Like everything around us is so aesthetic. The service has been beyond wonderful. They've just been super helpful and just we've had such an amazing time here. So I highly recommend the Andaz Scottsdale um, if you are coming to Scottsdale. All right, so here's a little tour of our space. It's kind of like a casita. So we've got this beautiful table outside. So your own private like patio. And this is the living room area. Everything's very like retro, which I absolutely adore. That's like my favorite style right now. Over here we have the bathroom. So this beautiful mirror. I have not had a better mirror experience <laughs> than in this freaking hotel. It's lit perfectly. It was great for makeup. I really love the shower. It's literally like a room. And I texted Joe and was like, hey, future house goals, we need a shower room because I need all this extra space. And then here is the bedroom. Does this bed look so inviting or what? Claudia and Josie and I were just talking about this. Like, how do they get it so smooth like that? I cannot for the life of me figure out how to make sheets and the duvet so perfect and plump and the pillows. What? I want to get in there right now. And then there's also like a second kind of like nook area outside over here, which is lovely. And then you walk through here, through the bar area and the other closet area into the second bathroom. This one's huge as well. We love a gigantic shower. And here's me, hi. All right, I've got my avocado toast, and we are on the road. Unfortunately, this morning, Claudia dropped her camera. I am like human, bad luck. <laughs> it's honestly weird. Everyone who starts the whole video thing, you make the same exact mistakes as everyone else. So I have dropped two cameras, and completely fucked up the lens. My back end of my viewfinder, my camera has completely come off. And I've only been doing this for five seconds. I have deleted footage and not gotten it back. Just like disaster after disaster. And I just so happened to do everything wrong on one trip. <laughs> the first time. <laughs> the first time. So hopefully it'll be amazing after I... Right? Are there any more mistakes that are like critical that I need to get Just out? deleting footage. Oh. Accidentally. Oh, okay. Well, it. let's hope that that's not the end of the trip. Yeah. Our friend Deanna is joining us and Josie's driving with her. So we're on the road, but I am eating this right now because I am hangry. Like honestly, in a bad mood because I'm so freaking hungry. She's a little so. grumpy cat. I'm very grumpy. <laughs> we made it to Best Buy. Claudia is headed in to grab her cam. Let's hope it works Good out. Good luck. Okay, so we just got to our, what I would call a casita. I guess that's what that is. It has like a mini kitchen up in the front right here. And then a living room. Gorgeous. Look at this fireplace, I'm living for it. Like, this is so aesthetically pleasing and warm because it's kind of chilly out here. They have read us with some champagne. And then look at this view. Truly doesn't get any better than that. Okay, so over here we've got a bathroom. Over here we have yet another bathroom. And then we have one of the bedrooms over here. So we each get our own bed. 
And there's a little like TV set up right here. And then there's also a beautiful view from the bedrooms. Ooh, and there's a wild clod. <laughs> I got my outfit on to go eat. I'm actually putting a leather jacket over this because it's kind of chilly outside. We got these boots on. I've gotten a lot of questions about these boots. These are Mark Fisher boots and I cannot find them anywhere online. Um, I've got my jeans on and then this top is from LF. And then I haven't really done my hair like this in literal years, but I did a little half up moment because I want to pull up my face. So I feel like my allergies are making my eye bags wild. I'm just pulling up like this. So we woke up this morning pretty leisurely. We ate some really good breakfast. The fruit plate here is a fruit plate from the freaking gods. It is the best fruit plate. It's literally every good piece of fruit. Um, I edited some video and am now uploading that to get it sent in to get it approved. Things are moving along and now we've gotten dressed and we had an idea that we wanted to take a picture over at these tennis courts over here because they're so fucking cool. We're gonna try to go corral some tennis rackets and balls and do a little tennis moment. We should try to play it for like 10 minutes and see what happens. I'm down. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Claudia and I have come down to the tennis courts. So we were taking some pictures and we decided we should probably try to play tennis. I've actually never successfully played tennis before. I think maybe in PE once when I was in school. I, I only tried to play tennis much briefly because they cheat outfits. Yes, um, we're gonna play like a really short game, but I literally just asked Claudia if like, it's like the rules of ping pong where you like bounce it on your side and bounce it over. So she was like, uh, no. <laughs> It's not ping pong. All right, so anyways, we're gonna start this and we're gonna try. Claudia's played a couple times, she said, so. Right. Oh, 
my shoulder. Ow. That's the most activity I've gotten in days. We're about to go back up to the room real quick to change, but I think we did okay for not being tennis players at all. Yeah. I and we straight have fun. up threw my shoulder out. <laughs> It's fucking killing me. <laughs> so that's nice for me. She's a sporty girl. Sporty girl. All right, we're headed down to the pool to take some photos. We have our masks on. Please hold. All right, so this is a prickly pear margarita. I had plenty of people to tell me to try the prickly pear margarita, so here we are. Look how Arizona this is right now. So we're by the pool. We ordered ourselves some lunch here. So we bought the Southwest salad, chicken tacos, chips, and salsa over here. And then we got the wedge salad with chicken and some guac. So this Southwest salad comes with some kind of buttermilk dressing, but I exchanged it for the lime tahini dressing because y'all know I love tahini. Uh, almost more than life itself. Josie says that the salsa is the best she's ever had. So let me just go ahead and dabble in that. Mm. You know what though? It's smoky. It's a hard life out here, guys. It's oddly warm. All right, guys, it is time for dinner. We're doing an early dinner tonight. I just got my boots on and I tucked them in like princess die style. I like when the jeans are a little baggier over the boots and then I've got crop top on as per usual this leather jacket and we're actually just gonna go to eat the hotel. Uh, right now I am just the driest, crustiest person alive and Claudia has admitted that she is as well. Something has happened to my allergies in Arizona that I can't explain. And a leather um, is not putting a dent in it. Yeah, my eyes are watering so bad that they're crusting <laughs> over. Isn't she just every bit as sexy as you imagined from Instagram? But things are fine. I'm enjoying myself. I'm really relaxing. I really want to come back here and stay for like a week and just play tennis <laughs> and then get a massage <laughs> every day. Big news, big news, guys. We are headed home today. Stunning. Gorgeous. Let's get to packing. I have stayed in Sedona before. I would heard of this hotel that I'm staying at right now, that we stayed at this trip, and I heard that it was like literally the best hotel in Sedona. So I was like, okay, well, you know, one day I'll get to stay there. And finally, it has happened. This hotel is a freaking dream. People are literally like on their honeymoons here. And I wanna come back and stay here for like a week and like just really chill and do all the things. Today, the drive is about seven hours and 30 minutes. While I will vlog the rest of this trip, I wanted to do a little video conclusion now. So, and I'll add the other footage in later. <sighs> this was a long trip, but it's been awesome. I've known Claudia forever and I've known Josie for quite a while, but like we hadn't really had like the kinds of conversations that we had on this trip. People just don't like, unpack the shit we unpack in like 80 years of therapy. I know, <laughs> seriously. Interesting what you learn about people after spending, I don't even know, 15 hours so far in a car, maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> We've also eaten and drank a lot on this trip. Like I need to just, uh, you know, not do that anymore. Also props to Josie for literally being like the a plus planner of everything. All right, I'll see you on the road trip, okay? <laughs>
Okay, so we're about four and a half hours outside of LA and I'm genuinely not okay. But I'm full of Twizzlers. I was craving Twizzlers for some reason. Or we're listening to crime podcast. So, we're having a great time. We're thriving as much as we can be, you know? <laughs> 